everyone, I am Yasuko and it's time for Mustache Monday. This week I'm going to try Ninon's herbal bath recipe. Ninon de Lenklo lived in the 17th century and supposedly she looked like 30 when she was 70. Even the king Louis XIV called her marvel of his reign because she looked so young and beautiful when she was in her 80s. I have covered her neck and face massage routine and her beauty cream recipe in other videos so I'm going to put the link here and here. Besides the neck and face massage and the stinky beauty cream that I've been trying since I made it, she supposedly took a daily bath. Here's her herbal bath recipe and the external benefits of each. Thyme. Thyme is good for boosting your good mood besides being antiseptic, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antibacterial, and antiparasitic. Mint. Mint is antiseptic, antibacterial, antiviral, and good for cooling and toning your skin, controlling oil secretion for acne, clearing your sinus, and alleviating stress and pain. Rosemary. Rosemary is astringent to tighten pores, protects skin from sun damage and free radicals, increases circulation for your skin to glow, moisturizes skin, and controls oil for acne. Lavender. Lavender is good for relaxing and de-stress. Its antioxidants are good for fighting against fine lines and wrinkles. Comfrey root. Now this can be a questionable one because it has poisonous substance called pyrolizidine alkaloids or PAs. Comfrey has been used for thousands of years for medicinal purposes for bone fractures, muscle and joint pain, bruises, and swelling. It promotes cell regeneration and accelerates skin healing. However, research says it will cause liver damage and even cancer, and that's why it's banned in some countries. But my understanding is that the research was done on rats in very high dosage. I've also read some interesting healing stories of comfrey on humans. I will put the link below for the article that I think explains the history of comfrey fairly, so you can read it for yourself and decide for yourself. As for this bath recipe, although you're not putting this in your mouth, skin does absorb what you put on. Do not use comfrey if you have open wounds and cuts because PS can get into your bloodstream. Do not use if you're pregnant, nursing, child, elderly, or if you have a history of liver disease or if you're concerned at all. From what I've read so far, I think it's safe for me, so I will go ahead and use it. Again, please decide for yourself regarding the use of comfrey. I haven't seen the exact amount other than handful, so I'm just going to eye it. Since these herbs are in the same small containers, I'm just going to use the whole thing. Small container of lavender. When you open this bag, the smell is amazing. By the way, I bought one pound of dried lavender and it's huge. I'm glad I got the resealable one. And small container of comfrey. Put two carts or eight cups of water on heat. I separated the herbs and mixed them. Then I stuffed them in a bag for steeping. I'm using a turkey stuffing bag. It looks like a long sock. You can also use muslin bag or wrap it in a cheesecloth. Mix all the herbs. I move the knot higher so I can spread them out and it will steep better. Put it in the hot water and steep for at least 20 minutes covered. When it's ready, mix it in the bathtub. This is when I realized maybe this is too big, but oh well. This is the color of bath water that I enjoyed. I slept really good that night 
and I felt my muscles were definitely looser. As expected, I didn't see any drastic change on my skin just from one bath, but I just loved the smell. Even when I was steeping it in the kitchen, the smell was so nice. I can't do this every day, but I will definitely try this again, maybe with half the amount of herbs that I used. By the way, there weren't many posts about this bath recipe on the internet, so I researched it in Japanese too. I was also looking for the original recipe for the beauty cream, possibly in French. Someone commented on the other video that the original recipes for both the beauty cream and the bath are said to be included in this book called La Parfumeur Imperial. I found the book online, but since I don't speak French, I spent hours Google translating this 400 plus page book, one page at a time like this. But I couldn't find them. If I did it right, there was only one mention of Ninon in a sentence that says, this water can also be used successfully like the one of the Ninon de Lenclos on page 349. Oh well, I tried. Finally, wash your bathtub right away and thoroughly because these herbs have tannins and it can stain your bathtub like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back next week. Make it a great week. Feel free to comment below and please don't forget to subscribe.